Until now, the World Equestrian Games have been an exclusively European event, but that's changing. For the first time ever, the world's biggest equestrian competition is coming to the United States, to the Kentucky Horse Park in Lexington this fall. I don't know if, if you can really try to even uh, determine how significant it's going to be until it takes place. They're expecting oh, over 700,000 fans over the course of the 16 days. And when you think about it, it's, it's a much bigger event than the Olympics. In the Olympics, you're dealing with three disciplines, uh, jumping, dressage, and eventing. So here you factor in a few more that people may not even uh, recognize or realize, like uh, vaulting or uh, foreign hand driving. So I, for the people that have the opportunity to get there in person, it's going to be a phenomenal experience. And for the people that get to see it on TV, I think they'll wish that they would have been here in person. Eight equestrian disciplines, including reining, will be part of the games. To find out more about the thrilling discipline of jumping, we traveled to Wellington, Florida for the $75,000 Ataquan Grand Prix. In jumping, riders take their horses over a course of obstacles, usually with many turns and changes of directions. The purpose is to clear the obstacles cleanly within an allotted time. Penalties are assessed for time, knockdowns, or refusals. Placings are based on the lowest number of faults. Alan Mann of Attaquan caught up with two-time Olympic team gold medalist BZ Madden, along with her coach and husband John Madden, and a young lady making her first Grand Prix appearance, 18-year-old Jessica Springsteen, daughter of rock star Bruce Springsteen, to talk about the upcoming games. You've been to a number of them over the years, so can you give us a little bit of your experience on uh, what took place? Yeah, well, um, in uh, 1986, we got to go. I got to go to Aachen for the World Championships that year, and then to Jerez in Spain, and then the most recently in Aachen, where BZ won the silver medal individually, and we won the team silver. And uh, it's been just a, a honor and a privilege to be involved with it. Uh, in many sports, the World Championships I know are really big. In our sport, uh, obviously, the Olympic Games has a huge cachet. But for the riders and the horsemen, the, the World Equestrian Games is, is really a huge thing. You've been to several now, so can you share some of your experiences? Well, I've been lucky enough to be at, at two World Equestrian Games so far, Hareth and, and Aachen in uh, 2006. And Hareth was my first championship ever, so that was a great feeling. And then uh, Aachen, I, I remember we were doing the victory walk, actually. We walked around the stadium for the victory. and. Uh, in the in the team competition I remember McLean and I saying I don't know if we'll ever experience anything like this in our lifetime but uh, I'm hoping we'll say the same when we get to Kentucky oh, wow. if, if we get to Kentucky <laughs> together wow. and so then you've also uh, been to the Olympics so can you tell us a little bit about that Yeah, I've had, also had two Olympic game experiences one in uh, in uh, Hong Kong just recently and one in Athens and to, you know, we won the team gold in both, and uh, it's it's an unbelievable feeling. I hope we're on a roll, and I hope it continues. So now that the games are coming to the U.S., does that give the U.S. a home field advantage? I, I hope so. I mean, a, a lot of our horses are will will have been in the in the venue, and the riders and the coaches and everybody is going to be comfortable with the venue. So. Uh, our horses won't have to have a big travel like they usually do or a quarantine period or anything like that so I think uh, you know we will have no excuses we'll, we should be everybody should be fit and ready to go we have to get there first right. and uh, on home soil this will be a, a very very special moment for for our team it's definitely inspiring I mean it's really fun to just be showing in a class like this you know you're around those riders and you know it makes you want to do you know the bigger classes and hopefully go to the World Equestrian Games one day and I'm really excited for Kentucky so hopefully I'll get to go watch. <laughs> Attaquan is proud to be a major sponsor of Inside Reining, the National Reining Horse Association and the United States Equestrian Federation. Thank you, thank you, Thanks Attaquan. Thank you Attaquan. Thanks Attaquan. Thanks Attaquan. Thanks Attaquan. Vielen Dank, Adequan. Thanks, Adequan. Grazie mille, uh, Adequan. Thank you, Adequan. Thanks, Adequan.